We are on a mission, my friends. We have to rectify a wrong. We have to go check on our little goblin. It's okay, I didn't mean- Oh, 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 we're actually gonna get a scene. <gasps> okay. Oh. Sometimes, huh? First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. And I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real. So solid. <laughs> Never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. I guess during the war I got distracted. But it just came back to me now. Oh! A star of light. Oh, we helped her! Oh, goblet. It'll be okay. Mwah. Okay. Gave her something to think about. It's not all bad. Poor little thing. Okay. Okay, so we helped the dogs and we helped Goblet. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... Depending on how many of these... So, are we going to be able to help, like, Liliana and Norman? Or is it just kind of... Maybe the bigger ones? I do have... I have this key. Yeah, let's go in the, the music studio. Hi, Norman. I'm not a kid, but... Oh. Okay. See, uh, Thursday, February 19th, 1981, MFN Studios Market Survey. In recent years, television viewership has surged, and television programming has multiplied and diversified as broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages and their children begin their children beginning to enter the ranks of adulthood and imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, My Friendly Neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveying, surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead more mainstream offerings like Dinosaur Mayhem. This has prompted the City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of its series. Oh. oh, that's a bummer. Oh, there are the lyrics to The Friendly Neighborhood. Alright, let's see. A golden mallet. <laughs> I don't... Oh god, I'm not gonna have to do like a musical instrument puzzle, am I? Please dear god, no. Okay, I can't interact with any of the instruments, it looks like, so thank God. Oh! What's another one of the chemicals I need? Okay, cool. Uh, trumpet polish. Okay. Nice. Okay. When 
next where next? I think I might actually go... Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna go save. I was trying to... <laughs> Don't do it. Sorry, I can't get over him. I love him. Okay, let me save, put some stuff up. Okay, so this goes to Ray's boiler, I think? Pump piece, yeah, the, the pump. So... Okay. So let's go help old Ray out. I, I have no doubt. The murderous hugs tipped me off, Norman. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Ray, I gotcha. Just don't clonk me over the head, buddy. Uh huh. Look at that, we can turn it now. God. It's not going to flood me out, is it? What do you want? Fix. Yeah, I fixed it. Ow. Fix. I, I, I just... Look, when, when you've got a problem, you can't just clam up and start hitting everything with a wrench. That won't fix anything. Good. going now. <laughs> hey! You're welcome, Ray. See, I thought Ray was going to be the main prota uh, antagonist. Sorry. How wrong I was. What is Ray supposed to be? <laughs> Hi. Ah, meeting room. Where all the important decisions are made. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Not a whole lot in here. Can I, are there like secret doors or something? Mm -hmm. No? There is a secret. A cheat unlocked. Okay. I guess... I guess that's it? Okay. Uh... What is, what is the other chemical I need? Okay, I need... I got the trumpet. Weed out. Okay, the film developer fluid was in a room full of film. The trumpet polish was in the music room. I would suspect the weed stuff would be in the garden somewhere, right? Okay, I, I guess let's head back to the, well, I say garden, but the kind of playground. Uh, the garden area where the doggos are. All right. I did notice this does a Resident Evil thing. The red indicates you, you've left stuff in a room. <gasps> okay. I do want to get... There's a triangle door, that's right. Oh, the music room. Or the music still okay. What did I leave in here? I don't know if it's going to be like random stuff or if it's going to be... 
game pertinent. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think I was coming back in here. Can I? Oh. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Oh, I didn't come in here. Okay, so I got that. Yeah, I, okay. Did I? No, there's still something. What did I? What did I leave? This is not going to be a completionist. Uh, oh, playthrough. But if it's something important to the... Okay, that was... Okay, it's just random. Okay. I thought it might be important. Okay, then we got this one. Playground key. Oh! Okay. Where... Oh yeah, wasn't there a um on the the playground house thing <laughs> house thing wasn't there a door that was locked? That Leonard with the novelist still freaks me out. I'm just waiting for him to wake up and just start blasting. Okay, Leonard, you just stay there. Statue Leonard. Alright. Are you coming? Yeah, he's coming. So is it just a regular statue that's come alive? Or is there like a Leonard puppet inside the statue? <laughs> it's a little horrifying. Yeah, this thing. Okay, I, I like how the key's actually done up like... There we go. Like the look of the the castle thing here. I don't know what you'd call this. Okay, what's the? Uh, oh wow! Oh, there's a door. Oh, puzzle. Inspect. What am I supposed to do? Looks like pegs in that bucket can go here. Thank you, game. Um. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, what now? Oh. Okay, yeah. Where their pictures are. Okay, that's where we put the picture. Okay, those guys. My new favorites are there. Ricky's there. Goblet. I think Goblet's there, right? Pearl. I don't remember where Pearl is. I don't remember Leonard either. I know Ray's somewhere around the castle, and so is Ileana. Hmm. Okay, wait. So, okay, there's Liliana. Okay, Ray. Ricky. George is up there. Was up there another one around this way? Sit. Oh, Pearl! Oh, Pearl's there! Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. So, the goblet's there. Pearl. I think we switch Pearl and Leonard. And then... There we go. That's the ticket. Oh, hi, Leonard. Oh, it's the last one. It's the last chemical. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I'm, okay, wait. No. Let's get rid of that. We're done with that key. We're done with that key. 
this should be enough room. Okay. Let's let's go do some chemistry. Ooh. I've got it, I've got it. Okay, what did it say? We have to hold okay, so red one to two seconds, green one to two seconds, blue three to four seconds, green two to three seconds. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. That didn't sound good. This is good. You check the directions. No, I know what the directions are. Oh boy. Oh my god. Okay. Not going to tell you how many times that took. Is that it? Jam solvent. So it's not glue, it's jam. Okay. Exactly. Do I need to do anything? No? Okay. I like how Gordon thought it was glue. Sealing up an elevator with jam is exactly what I expect from puppets. A fluid. Old. Gross. <laughs> Alright, let's go and seal the elevator. Finally, let's get this done. Oh, are we coming to the end? I'm gonna be kind of bummed when we finish this. Uh, reflections, part one. I wander the dark streets of the city alone. The neighborhood is deserted, ripped apart by corporations, converging on it like vultures picking on a corpse. The crumbling buildings, the shattered glass glinting on the cracked pavement, the sagging car leaning on its flat tire make it look like a combat zone has blossomed here in the heart of the city. The comet glow of a traffic light gives everything an ethereal, dreamlike quality. I count lines of the windows with their curtains pulled, each hiding someone in a dark apartment, watching TV alone. An aching terror gnaws at the roots of my bowels. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of a black pit, about to plunge into the void and be lost forever. I am alone, even here in the heart of the city. I am vastly, eternally, alone. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Uh, yeah, I forgot something in the service tunnel. But it looks like I got everything else, maybe. Okay. It just This looks like a final boss type of thing. One day I'll learn how to play video games. Today's not that day. Alright, I feel like this is the final boss. Let's get right- oh! What? What is this? <laughs> we got a little cardboard mansion here. That music's gonna drive me crazy. Who are you? Looks like a puzzle. Uh, and, and a legitimate puzzle. Interior. Arnold's imagination penthouse is at Arnold evening. When Ricky enters, Arnold's penthouse is in utter chaos. Furniture is laying upside down. Cardboard sheets are pulled off the wall. Art is lying on the floor. Arnold is in the corner, digging around inside his chest. Ricky. Arnold, what's going on? Are you looking for something? Arnold looks up. Arnold. Cat. Ricky. You've lost your cat? Have you looked everywhere for her? Arnold. Yes. 
Ricky, have you looked in the kitchen? The bedroom, the patio. Arnold nods. He waddles over to the piano and holds out a sheet of music to Ricky. Arnold, I wrote song. Ricky, I see. I take it you want me to sing this? As a reply, Arnold begins to play the piano. Ricky sings the song. Song, Lament for Cat. My cat is gone. I am sad. Where are you, cat? Cat, 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 cat. You are not in your bed. <laughs> okay, so that's Arnold out there? Are we supposed to maybe find his cat? Oh boy. There's a picture of Ray. I think that was Pearl over there on that table. No, it's locked, okay. All right. Uh, I guess let's go look around. I guess he's not gonna, oh. I guess he's not gonna attack us. He's new, he wasn't ever indicated in the demo. What the hell are you? Seems like it's not activated, okay. Hmm. He's breathing like a pug. Uh. Oh, oh, nope. There's no room in the toolbox. Oh. My art by Arnold. Wait. Wait, let me write all of this down. This is important. I know it is. Hi, Liliana. Oh, you don't have your hat. Trash. can't interact with anything else. Can I? It's in here. Oh, a kitchen. Okay. I guess something could be placed here. I, I guess. Don't know what. Are we? Are we gonna try? Uh, okay, something else could be placed there. Are we supposed to cook something on the cardboard cutouts? Oh my god. We have a conversion chart. And it looks like one of them leads to another key? I don't have I don't have room. Okay, let's let's go look at the other rooms real quick. Bedroom. Games. Oh my god. Switch game. Go. Uh, uh, oh. It reminds me of that episode of South Park where the internet goes out. Randy goes with that guy and he basically does this but with explicit images <laughs> oh is that a picture of Arnold's cat okay oh boy Oh, Arnold's art room, maybe? Sure. My house. This is the penthouse? Oh, good lord. Oh, it's those pictures! See? I knew, okay. I knew it. I can't click on them, though. So maybe... Watch it be, like, nothing. Huh. Okay, I think we're going to try and start with this. So, all of this adds up to that key, but there's a key in the other room. 
I don't get it. Okay, uh... No. What can I pick up? What can I... What can I... Okay, I can pick up... Oh. Can I pick you up? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk in the microwave makes cheese? I'm pretty sure that's not how that works! Pretty sure. It, it could be wrong. <laughs> Don't look at that. We got cheese. And I'm out of room. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's move you and move you. What haven't I used that red diamond key on? I don't know. Okay, and then red, uh, the cheese and knife. <laughs> it's a banana somehow. Tomato knife ketchup. Oh dear god. Can I just set that there? I do not have the inventory space. Banana, come here. Can I put this in the, the fridge? The quote unquote fridge. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Just sit there for a minute. I need the inventory space. Hopefully I'm not gonna screw the recipe up by doing that. Okay, tomato, knife, somehow equates ketchup. Wait, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh ketchup microwave. Make something. I don't know. Everybody, this is not how cooking works. As somebody who likes to cook, I'm telling you. Don't put milk in the ref uh, in the uh, microwave. All right, this, and then I think 20 seconds, it said. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh... I just need you to sit there for a second while I grab this. Okay. And then that. I think all of these things go in the refrigerator. And we should get a purple key. Somehow, some way. Five seconds. Okay. Oh, wow. So, do I take this purple key and replace it with this oh hi <laughs> <laughs> oh it locks you in so okay <laughs> uh-huh okay we got a purple so there's a few chests we can open with the purple key oh wait it wasn't this room it was the other one it was the one with norman Keep going, Arnold. Okay. Oh, it's one of the puzzle pieces. I like his self-portrait. Let me put some stuff up. Is there anything I want to put up? One whole thing, can you believe it? Hey! Okay. Can I open that yet? No. Alright, let's go put the puzzle pieces in. I didn't I didn't pay attention to how many I need. Are you, yeah, okay. Oh, I need two more. No, seriously, Arnold sounds like a pug. Have you ever heard a pug breathing? Oh, Ricky. Okay. <coughs> Goblet. Um, it looks like she took a selfie. Uh, where are my socks? <laughs> fish, 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 fish. To do. Find my cat. Wow, Arnold. Hi, how are you? 
Doing pretty a okay, Arnold. Thank you. Log in. Oh. Hey. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Sounded like that came from the other room. What? The mail. Oh, this room! I'm not gonna tell you how many damn- like, I've been going around trying to figure out what the hell that opened. It's this. Okay, what do I do? I unlocked it. I unlocked a book. Uh, oh. Ooh, secret passage. It said the other room. I expected it to be legitimately the other, like where Arnold was. And I could not for the life of me figure it out. But it meant... Oh, that room. Okay, whatever. Oh. They put a lot of thought in this penthouse. Okay. Have some letters. Sorry. You guys seem to have been through a lot. I don't like making your plight any worse. Can you get in the pool? No, you can't. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Oh, <gasps> knew it, knew it. Oh my God. Okay, okay. So we got, I'm assuming we do it in the order that we found them. So I need the shapes. Shapes, one. Okay, two is what I have dubbed the squirrel. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe a horse, maybe a cat, okay. Blue, green, yellow boxes. You are number three. Red circles, blue center, four. And then five is le fruit. Where's, where's fruit? Fruit. Fruit. Hot damn. Oh, thank you. Oh, and a puzzle piece. Exciting. Okay. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, the City Tribune, Saturday, January 1st, 1983, box office report. A puppet winter song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming 1.4 million box office, signaling that the film will fall short of recovering its $25 million budget. Oh. Yeah, just, it seems like everything was in decline. Sorry, Bacon and Bunnies. I'm just assuming the pig's name's Bacon. That's what his shirt says. And it just, it sounds awful enough that the pig's name would be Bacon. <laughs> okay, where's the other one? Okay, uh, oh, this one opened too. Okay, okay, okay. Don't grab me. George, don't grab me. I saw you coming over here. Can I juke him? No. Ah, oh, damn it. We got it. We go. 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 Stop banging on the piano like that. My ears are gonna start bleeding. They do not. 
Uh, no. Learn to what? I can't read music. <laughs> Get off me, you... Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm high. <laughs> Okay, you know what, before I, I'm gonna go save before I pull that, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I thought Arnold might be a spider at first, but I don't, I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay, it just raises the platform, okay. I was thinking this was gonna be the last session. Oh, uh all right, take care. But it doesn't make, my whole point is to come here and do something with the antenna and I haven't done that yet. Okay, let's see. Uh, July 15th, 1983, Mr. Griswold. We are writing to inform you that effective immediately, the show My Friendly Neighborhood has been canceled and the production company, MFN Studios, has been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppet performers and the studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, July 22nd to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Block Black Sail Black Soul, Vice President of Programming. That's a very apt name, Black Soul. <laughs> that okay so that's roof axe what is this stop oh okay i think the i don't know, I could not I Guess I'll go out and do it myself. I get the feeling they're running the show again to try and make people happy again. Like there's no Ooh, secret. There's no malevolent uh intent is the word I'm looking for. It's like they realize People aren't happy anymore, and they're trying to make them happy and good neighbors. Which is kind of sad. Oh no, sad music! Oh. Don't do it, Gordon. Don't pull the plug. Don't do it. Oh wow, we're really climbing the damn thing, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Are you really not gonna tether yourself, Gordon? Oh, I don't think this is a good idea. I think you should let it keep going. to do this I don't want you broadcasting Ricky you're gonna hurt kids hurt them Gordon we want to help them they need us you need us for what for what Gordon look at this city 
the buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you. <laughs> you know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy, because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon! We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem, Ricky. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know. Deep down, you want to be friendly. Sorry, Ricky. Oh! Oh, that's what those big holes around the studio are for. <laughs> for us to fall in. Oh, we pulled the plug. Oh. That's not okay. it? Where are we? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh my god. The heck? Oh lord. <laughs> okay. Uh oh dear. Oh wait, I don't have I haven't okay. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that's what I figured. They came back, the puppets came back because they realized everybody were was so unhappy. They were just trying to make people happy again because that's what they knew to do. Oh my god, I'm gonna make myself cry. Wasn't expecting this to be kind of topical. It does surprise me how some people kind of just insist on being miserable. Okay, I can't go in there. See, reflection part two, driven by restless spirit, I go up on the roof, and there above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars, pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me, something that says, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Who's writing this? I can't go in there. It's so dark, I'll probably trip over a stage light. Oh. Oh. Hello? Hello? Gordon? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us. Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, th th there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. No, of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham-blam, fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC, one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. 
That phone is not connected to anything. So yeah, it was kind of what I expected. They, they, I thought they maybe were reading the articles, but they were watching other shows that were not so friendly. And it kind of messed them up some. And apparently some took it worse than others is what it seems like. The unfriendly neighborhood. <laughs> oh unfriendly god. Uh huh. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Oh boy. It's a little too quiet. Oh, what? Oh my god! Oh. oh! What the hell? Well, I got the Norman, but none of them. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Okay, can I just. Oh, run! We'll just- we'll just run! Oh god, please don't follow me. Ah, what are you?! Oh, oh no, I'm in danger. Okay, I need to heal. Can I go in here? I can't go in there. Oh, what was that? What was that? There oh, there's the switch. That's the switch. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Try that again. Okay. Oh god, it's on it. Okay. We have to wait. They make. How much? Oh my God! It's taking its sweet ass time. Oh my God! Oh wow! <laughs> oh! Oh my God! It's still going. I almost feel like you don't have to shoot them. Like, you, you could probably just run around. Wow. TV you watch must have messed you up real bad. Oh, I see a June bug up there. Okay, it's almost it's almost down. It's almost down. Oh god, oh god. Okay, phew. No! Oh wait, can I Oh did it did it do it? Just in case, just to make sure. Oh, no, don't get me. We're done. We're done. We're out. Is it gonna fall? Okay. Okay, let's go. Do I not use? Oh, there it is. Okay, the prompt didn't come up at first. Okay. Oh. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> oh. See, dear children, I'm sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. 
Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is broken and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly, and there's nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world, the light that is also love, to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light. So the message I want to leave you with is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light because the light will rescue you from the darkness. No. Oh. Oh, I feel like manly badass hero. Secret. <laughs> oh, we're back here. Oh, okay, that's where that opened up. Okay. Yeah, that one's got an ellipses. I'm just wondering. That's what I'll do in my no commentary playthroughs. Bring all those masks down here from that other area. See if that maybe opens the door. Oh! Oh, Ricky did leave them for us. Oh, I thought at some point Ricky was going to backstab us, but no, he just, I guess, trying to be our conscience in a way. Our little Jiminy Cricket in a sock puppet form. Mercy. Oh. Okay. So you can kill that final boss, I guess. Okay. Well, I say kill. Seems a little harsh. Gordon, you're oh. alive. I'm so proud. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? <laughs> Ricky. I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? <gasps> of course! Fine. We'll give it a shot. Gordon, I'm so glad we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. Well, Brian... What have you done this time? You're a good person deep down. I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays. I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks, though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Aww. At that point, I figured I had done my part. So I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it 
keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window, wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. Oh, good for you, Gordon. Yay. Basic training. I loved it. I loved it. It was fun. It was cute. It was weird. It was kooky. Arlo? Okay, wait. Norman. Leo Wiggins. Leo. Bravo. <laughs> I mean, all the voice actors were fantastic. I had such a good time with this game. It was well worth the wait. It was, like I said, it was a little topical. You know, the puppets had a purpose, and then once the outside world kind of became cynical and kind of depressing, they lost their purpose, and they were just trying to make people happy again. It's a little noble, you know, for a bunch of puppets. All right, so about five hours, die through. Oh, I gotta be, that's fine. That's still passing. So yeah, I, I'm gonna do a long playthrough. I'm gonna do the dialogue videos. I'm gonna um, do something with the cheats, the secrets we unlocked, but I wanna do the long playthrough before I do the, the cheat compilation because hopefully in the long playthrough, I can find some more of the secrets. Um, but yeah, so enjoyable, really great. And, and I, I think a, a pretty, a pretty decent message and at the end of it gordon as grumpy as he is he's a good guy but you all can let me know what you think down below in the comments i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and i am not done with this game not by a long shot uh but yeah there you go we finished it it was a good length and it has replayability value i didn't have any technical issues like it never like oh, oh wait Oh, it's speed run. Oh god, free cam. Veteran. Long arms. Triple enemies. Speedy enemies. Fast weapons. Big heads. Chipmunk voice. <gasps> We're totally doing that one. Different bullets. Slow-mo. Mega wrench. Oh god. Okay, the big heads and the chipmunk voices are definitely going to be something I do in the compilation. Holy crap. Awesome. Yeah, I'd like to get some more of these before I do the compilation of the cheats. Yeah, I think it's well worth the price. I think it is on sale for $26.99 until the 25th of July, which is like one more day. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, loved it. Loved it. Can't wait to go through it again in the long, uh, long playthrough. But you all have a fantastic Monday, and I will plan to see you. I probably will not be uploading tomorrow. I have things to do, uh, but I'll see you later this week with dialogue videos. So until then, bye!